I've got a, a request from Sullen Girl. I guess that tells us something about how you're feeling at the moment. And she says, could you suggest anything that will help me stay asleep at night without sleeping pills as I wake up throughout the night? People who have difficulties with sleep may have difficulties getting to sleep or staying asleep as you do, um, or indeed both of those things. And, and like you, many, many people would prefer to find a way of resolving sleep problems. Sometimes we call these sleep problems insomnia uh, without using pills. Um, because, you know, when we take pills, we sometimes don't get the same quality of sleep that we would get if we were sleeping naturally. And of course, we also want to fix things ourselves very often, don't we? So that we can be sure that we're in a good sleep pattern for the future. Because sleeping pills don't necessarily solve the underlying problems. So what are those underlying problems? Well, there's two aspects to them. They're behavioral, in terms of getting our pattern right and into good shape. And they're mental, in terms of uh, our emotions and our thinking. Most people with insomnia complain of a racing mind. Uh, the inability to switch off at night. And also complain of uh, not being sure, ever sure, whether they're going to manage to sleep or to sleep through. You get that terrible sinking feeling, don't you, when you waken up and think, oh, here we go again. But happily, there is a solution to this, an evidence-based solution to this, uh, called cognitive behaviour therapy. And CBT, for short, has been shown in over a 100 studies worldwide, randomised controlled trials, to be an effective treatment for insomnia. There's different ways that you can take CBT. You can see a therapist for help with it. Um, you can read a book that would uh, summarise all the key principles and follow it yourself. And I'm very proud to be involved um, with an online approach to taking CBT um, through sleepio.com. You might want to have a look at that. What does CBT do? It helps you to correct your negative and intrusive thinking and to set you in a course uh, to normal sleep um, through adjusting your sleep patterns uh, so that you, be you become someone who can fall asleep and stay asleep. Or if you waken up, which everyone does from time to time, to get back to sleep quickly. If we get these behavioural things right, the mental approach right, there's no reason why anyone can't be a good sleeper again. So hopefully, sullen girl, you won't be sullen forever. But thanks to your point.